Yeah, you that defense. That's all we need to do. There's no adjustments needed. Three straight three and out stage. Everything you need to know. They come from 23 different states to play football at Division III Gallaudet University. Not because they get an athletic scholarship. They don't. Not because it's a traditional powerhouse. It isn't. But because there's no place in the world like it. Gallaudet is the only university specifically for deaf and hard of hearing people. Some people only have 5% hearing loss. Some are completely deaf. So there's a range. If you're hired here at Gallaudet University, you're going to learn a new language. It must. But at the end of the day, we all learn, we sign, we communicate, and we play football. And we play, we play hard. If we're behind, you don't quit. If we jump on their ass, we don't quit. If we're in a tight game, we don't quit. Well, when people realize that we're deaf, they look at me with a really sorry face, saying, well, really, you can't speak and you can't talk? Oh, OK. You know, but because of the fact that I can't speak or hear doesn't mean that I'm dumb. In a mainstream school, they're not going to raise their hand and ask a teacher again, say, I missed it. Because, you know, their friends in the back are like, oh, again, you know, slowing down. Here, again, that doesn't happen. They never miss nothing. 10-11, fine. Opposite, that's fine. Okay. The bison execute their game plan with a chain reaction of silent efficiency that even the pros would envy. Go, 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 go. Everything that I use is an American Sign Language, but it happens really quickly, and the opponents can't really understand us, so that is something that we use to our advantage. You know, I've wanted to write Peyton Manning a, a letter and asked him, have you ever considered using American Sign Language instead? You know, because at any time, he's going to run out of these gestures. He's only limited to how many he can use. Deaf people are famous for making a lot of noise because they don't know how much noise they're making. Gallaudet started playing football in 1883, but have never before qualified for the NCAA postseason. I remember clearly when I first arrived here, our preseason rankings were at 234 out of 238 teams in Division Three. It looked like it was a throwaway program and that there really was no chance for it or no hope. It's hard to find deaf and hard of hearing football players. A lot of players that come from nowhere. I'm not even sure how the coaches even found them. Maybe they Googled them, I'm not sure. A bare minimum roster of 54 has had its challenges. Among them, integrating players. It was a, a huge issue, actually. It divided the locker room between those individuals who could speak and hear versus the other individuals that were deaf and used American Sign Language. Some players would just stay with their own group and just hang around with those guys. This year, that's just gone away. We've all been one group, one unit, one team. We have to adapt to who we have on the team. And that is the main reason why we're doing so well this year. An unprecedented 9-0 start clinched the first conference title in school history. And that elusive postseason dream has come true. It's bringing Gaida University together. I'm just glad our players had the opportunity to play. When we win!